Jose Vinales, Financial Counselor of the IMF. Over the last six months, we've seen some improvements in financial markets. However, are these transitory, or do you think that the financial system has become safer? I think that we are now in a much better uh, situation regarding global financial stability than we were six months ago. And this has been due to the very decisive policy actions that have been taken in the euro area and which have uh, helped to avoid a financial cliff and in the United States where a fiscal cliff has been avoided. But we are not out of the boots yet because there are a number of important medium-term underlying vulnerabilities that need to be addressed. And I would like to mention two types. Uh, all type of vulnerabilities which are familiar and which are still associated with the legacy of the crisis, for example, the clogging of the pipelines in terms of the credit flow mechanism in uh, Europe and the unfinished uh, state of repair of a number of banks there, and uh, new uh, uh, emerging vulnerabilities which are associated to the policies which have been put in place to fight the crisis and essentially to the exceptionally long period of monetary accommodation that we are witnessing. What does the crisis in Cyprus imply for the financial stability and integration of the euro area? I think that the uh, crisis in Cyprus is a reminder that we cannot lower the guard because confidence is not sufficiently entrenched. And it's also a very powerful reminder that we need to continue making sustained progress towards a fully fledged banking union. Cyprus shows how important it is to have first class supervision, to have uh, a good resolution mechanism and to have credible deposit guarantee schemes. In a full banking union with a single supervisor, which does a good job, a, a single resolution mechanism and a credible deposit guarantee scheme backed by a, an appropriate fin fiscal backstop, I think that these are essentials that need to be put in place and they are even more essential after than before Cyprus. Central banks' use of loose and unconventional monetary policy has been one of the central and key tools in fighting the crisis. But you warn of some unintended consequences there. What's, what are they? Well, the accommodative uh, monetary policies that have been put in place in advanced economies in, in recent years are of the essence in order to uh, support uh, global uh, financial stability and the economic uh, situation. But they also uh, may lead to unintended consequences regarding financial stability. And this is something which is clear. We have had extraordinarily accommodative monetary conditions for a very prolonged period of time. And this may be leading, in some cases, to pockets of excess releverage. And this may be happening in some circumstances in the corporate sector, in the United States, maybe in some corporates, in emerging markets, and also these very accommodative monetary conditions may be delaying the process of bank repair, which is so essential in other parts of the world. So these are unintended consequences which need to be taken care of by uh, financial authorities through appropriate microprudential and macroprudential actions. So how should emerging market economies negotiate these challenges? Well, I think that emerging markets need to keep their guard up. They have benefited from these uh, international financial conditions insofar as they have been able to uh, obtain financing which is helpful for the domestic growth processes, but they have to be very attentive to potential financial excesses uh, in terms of excess uh, leverage in some uh, corporate sectors in these economies, the potential for foreign exchange uh, mismatches which could cause uh, problems down the road. And they also have to be very attentive and prepared to deal with uh, a volatility of capital flows. And all of those things call for these economies to have bigger uh, buffers in the financial sector and to have a bigger room for maneuver in terms of monetary and fiscal policies in case there is a future rainy day. Jose Vinales, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.